Oh, Yagami-san. Sorry, son. Yes? I have another favor I want to ask you. Oh? Think you can handle it? Tell me what it is. You sure? Yes. All right, then. We need you to set a honey trap for Keto. A what? It's when you seduce a man to get information. And you're sure you want me? How could you ask her to do that? You can't be serious. Look, we need to get to Keto somehow. This is the best shot we have of luring him into Kamurocho. Don't be ridiculous. Asking her to be a hostess is one thing, but you can't make her sleep with that creep. Hold on there, Hoshino-kun. Isn't that what a honey trap is? I never said that. You don't have to listen to them, sorry san I mean, just talking about this is practically entrapment. Not to be rude, but I asked sorry san not you. Why do you care so much anyway? Because I care about her! Oh? You... what? Uh, no, I... I... I mean, I, I have a lot of respect for her as a co-worker. Well, that's enough of that. Yagami, you sure there'll be no risk to Saurikun? Absolutely. I have a plan. Which is what, exactly? I'll tell you once we get there. First, I need to know if you're in. It's what the investigation calls for. Sorry, son. I want to avenge Shitani Sensei's death, too. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Then we don't have time to lose. We? Since when was it we? If this is really what Sorry, son wants, I'll do everything in my power to help her. Uh huh. Oh, we'll need another makeover, right? I'll go this time. Mind if we use the same salon? Sure, but I was thinking she'd be a journalist this time, not a hostess. A journalist? Really? Think about it. Your mark is inside the ADDC, right? You'll be able to get him alone much more naturally if you go in asking for an interview. Uh-huh. And you'll need to dress the part. I'm talking high skirts and low cuts. That'll bring out the worst in any old lech. Now we're talking. I'll take that over a hostess any day. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I have some things I need to take care of. Can you head to the ADDC once you're done with your makeup, sorry, son? We'll meet there. Okay. See you soon. We should be going too, sorry, son. Let's get you that makeover. Right. Here we are, sorry, san Hair salon cherry. I'm honestly a little nervous. Didn't I already do this when I was a hostess? Sure, but everything's different this time. sorry san the journalist. An intellectual beauty. Classy, worldly. Oh, what guy wouldn't fall for that? Don't give me that look. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to stare. Anyway, I'm sure you'll be stunning no matter how much makeup you wear. And if I disappoint you? Well, that's just not possible. I hope you're right.
Oh, you're a goddess, Salary san Just incredible. That off-limits allure, that mature aura. Are you going to stop soon? Sorry. I just... I got a little excited. Well, I'm ready to go. I can take it from here. So independent, too. Oh, sorry. I'll stop now. Well? Salary san Um... Hmm? Don't push yourself, okay? If things get dangerous, just run. Yagami-san said I'll be safe, though. Well, yeah, your life might not be in danger, but what if Kido tries to, you know, top a feel or something? If that's what needs to happen, that's what will happen. What? But... I should be going. Sorry, son. By the way, Hoshino-kun. Yeah? Thank you for complimenting my makeup. It felt... nice. What? Hold on, sorry, son. Take this with you. It's a hidden camera. A what? See, this is the lens. Any footage it takes gets sent to my phone in real time. Here, wear this earpiece too. I'll give you some conversation pointers while you're in there. Oh? Yeah, this time you'll need to be seductive with the words you say, not just your looks. So... You're going to give me tips, Yagami-san? I'd appreciate that. Wait, really? Of course. Knowing how to woo man isn't exactly my specialty. Also, what happens after I seduce him? Once Kido starts coming on to you, we'll catch it all on the camera. Meaning there will be evidence of his sexual harassment? Yeah. Your job will be done at that point. All we'll need to do after that is use the footage to lure him to Kamurocho. Blackmailing, hmm? Think you can handle it? Don't worry. The more perverted things Keto does, the more he'll suffer later. Yeah, I guess. I'd rather keep his hands off of me as much as possible, though. That'll be on you and your direction, Yagami-san. Right. Anyway, you should head in. Can you hear me, Sari-san? First, you're going to want to go to the reception desk. Ask the lady there if you can interview Kido. Just make something up about wanting more details on 89. Sounds good. Welcome, ma'am. Do you have an appointment? No. I was wondering if Director Kido would be available for an interview. And you are? A freelance journalist by the name of Shirosaki. I wanted to speak with him about 89. I'm terribly sorry, ma'am. I can't let you in without an appointment. 
Oh, I see. In that case, um... Don't be afraid to press the issue, Sarisan. I, um... Director Kido is a very busy man. I'm sure you understand. It won't take long, I assure you. And I can wait if need be. Even so... Please, can I at least see Kido-san and ask him myself? I'm sorry, ma'am. We decline all requests without a prior appointment. Oh, I think I could make an exception for such a pretty girl. Huh? I'm Kido, the director of this center. I hear you want to interview me. Ah, uh, yes. My name is Shirosaki. Shirosaki-san, hmm? Come, I'll show you to my office. A beautiful woman like yourself deserves VIP treatment. Are you sure, sir? Thank you very much. Ugh, Kido-san. So he's not even trying to hide it. Not that I'm complaining. Please, come in. Wow, this is your office? It's breathtaking. I love how spacious it is. Oh, <laughs> no need to flatter me, though I do get quite a few compliments. Please, take a seat. Sorry, son. Put the camera on the table. You really must excuse me. I should have made an appointment instead of just showing up on your doorstep. Move it a little to the right. About 15 degrees. Perfect. Would you care for a drink, Shirosaki-san? Maybe a glass of brandy? There's one I found recently that's truly top shelf. But it's the middle of the day. I can't have alcohol affecting my interview. Come now, you don't need to be so stiff. I'm sorry, but no. Take him up on it, sorry, son. We need him to let his guard down. Are you sure? Just one small glass. Well, sure, I'll have some. It's a special occasion after all. Here you are. I think I'm going to enjoy this interview. Good job, Sarisan. Keep it up. To a wonderful interview. Yes, to the interview. Mmm. It's incredible. Really warms you up deep in your core, right? Yes. Undo another button, Sarisan. Huh? Is something the matter? Oh, um, no, it's just getting a little toasty in here. Well, uh, <clears throat> yes, I am feeling warmer. Good going. He's taking the bait. Now then, <clears throat> what is this interview about? I'd like to hear how AD9 is progressing. Oh, that. I should have known. Is something wrong? No, 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 it's, it's all right. It's only everyone who interviews me always asks the same thing. I'm just going to tell you the same thing I tell everyone else. Oh, but... It comes with the job, yes, but I'm sick of parroting the same thing over and over again. Kido's losing interest. What are you gonna do? What do you mean, what are you gonna do? My heart's racing over here. Your heart, you say? Let me see. Uh. Hey, your heartbeat seems normal to me. Ugh, <laughs> oh, he's even more disgusting than I thought. 
You okay, sorry, son? A little surprised, but yes, I'm okay. Thank you. Oh, there's no need to thank me. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry about all this. Sorry, son. You're doing great, though. Keep going. Now then. Uh, where were we? You should get this over with as quick as possible. Make your move, sorry, son. Hmm. In that case... Sorry, son. I thought men liked this kind of thing. Oh, yes, I love it. I love it. Ah, uh, Ugh. Well, whatever floats his boat, I guess. How's this? Just wonderful. I think that's enough photos for now. All right, sorry, son. You're good. Wrap it up. How did they turn out? Oh, do you want to... Ah! You're right in the frame. This is a perfect backup. Stay strong, sorry son. Oh, you've made me a very happy man today. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. Well, um... How about dinner tonight? That's perfect. Draw them out. Okay. Let's do it in Camarocho. Camarocho? Um, how about somewhere else? I'd rather stay close by. Oh. I think I can convince you. Hmm. How so? You'll see. Is it just me? Or did Saori-san start getting weirdly into that whole thing at some point? Yeah, she was, uh... It's kind of scaring me towards the end. Anyway, you think Kido's actually gonna show? He'd be a fool not to. I just sent him the footage under Saori-san's name. Said we'd put it online if he didn't show. <laughs> Guess he doesn't have a choice then. Where'd you tell him to go? The batting center. Sugira and Higashi went ahead to keep an eye on the place. What's gotten into you, man? I don't know if I've ever seen you this organized. I can't afford to take my time with this. Okubo-kun's execution date is coming up fast. Yeah, good point. Come on, we should go. Let's roll, talk.
Sugira. Hey, what's up? Bringing the van around. You see me? Hmm? There he is. Welcome aboard. Where's Higashi? Already inside. I haven't noticed anything weird out here. Kido should be showing up any minute. And what happens when he does? We'll shove him in the van and drag him over to Charles. What? Igashi's arcade? It's not like we had a lot of time to think about it. We'll interrogate him once we get there. Right, Yagami-san? Yep. And speak of the devil. Surprised he actually showed. All right, let's move out. What are you doing here? Not sure what you mean. My agency is just a couple blocks away. It's strange to see you here, though. What brings you out to Kamrocho? <laughs> well, I. Maybe meeting a seductive journalist? I understand now. You're the ones behind all this. What will you do with that video? Nothing. If you give us what we want. What is it, money? No, we're after something else entirely. What are you going to do to me? We're just taking you for a little trip. No. No, I'm afraid you're not. Hmm? You forget. I'm a powerful man. Huh. Who are these assholes? Health Ministry thugs, if I had to guess. Huh. Do they have them all over the city or something? Delete that video, Yagami! Stay back! Don't come any closer! <laughs> Look where all that power got you. Nobody's running to help now. Not the ADDC, not the Ministry of Health. I've been waiting a long time for this moment. If you kill me, think what will happen to 89. Their research will come to a screeching halt! <laughs> Don't worry. Nobody's killing anybody. But I suggest you learn a little humility. I never said I wouldn't hurt you. Come on, we're out of here.
Man, it's been a while since I did something like this. Feels good getting back in the groove, you know? <laughs> you always did have a habit of stripping them down. Well, yeah. Everyone's the same underneath all this bullshit. Scientist, doctor, whatever. Listen here. It's not too late for you. But if you don't release me, you'll have your assassin hunt us down? I'll take extensive legal action against you. Huh, who knows what'd happen if you did that. I might accidentally let that video loose to the press. <laughs> what? If that doesn't sound good to you, start talking. You're gonna tell us everything you know about 89. <sighs> Why me? What do you people want? Who are those guys at the batting center? Well, I... <laughs> you mentioned how powerful you are. Did you hire them to protect you? <sighs> Out with it already. Quit acting like you got any goddamn dignity. You've made me a very happy man today. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. Who would have thought the scientist who was gonna save the world would have turned out to be some pervy asshole? Your name's gonna go down in history if this gets out. And not how you're hoping. Stop. I'm begging you, please! Who were those thugs at the batting center? Hitmen. On the Ministry of Health payroll. Ichinose's payroll, in other words. That's right. I think you mean, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ichinose-san knows I've been abducted. More of them could rush in here at any minute if you don't release me. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, we've got this whole fighting thing pretty down by now. <sighs> Next question. It's about what happened three years ago. <laughs> huh? An Alzheimer's patient at the ADDC by the name of Wakusan was murdered. His body found buried far out in the mountains. At the time, Shinpei Okubo was thought to be the killer. But the truth is, it was an unforeseen consequence of 89, which Shono had administered to this Wakusan. You knew, didn't you? What? Cat got your tongue? Guess you're about to become internet famous then. <laughs> Wait! Answer me, Kido! Yes! I knew. Who told you? When? How? I'm sorry. I can't say any more than that. If I did, I... Please, just give me some time to figure things out. Time's one thing I don't have. Shinpei Okubo's about to get executed for a murder he didn't commit. What? I need to get every last bit of information out of you right here. I'll even resort to torture if I have to. Torture? You'd break the law over this? What? That doesn't sound fun to you? Of course not! Then start talking! <laughs> Nobody's gonna come help you now. I'll give you a chance to think it over. You better be ready by the time I come back. Kido's already a broken man. My guess? At this point, he's just desperate to save his own skin. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe you should take a breather. I'm sure giving Kido some time to stool will make him realize talking's the only option. We'll keep an eye on him in the meantime. Thanks, Sukiura. I appreciate it. Hey, even a guy like you needs to take breaks. You've been up and out all freaking day.
Good to go, Yagami-san. Kido's had enough time to think. Ready to talk yet? We're waiting. <laughs> yes. Three years ago, Shono killed a patient by experimenting on him with 89. When did you find out? Right after the press conference. The one where we announced 89 to the world. Shono told me himself. Just thinking about it makes my blood boil. Even after all this time. I have some concerns about 89. At the moment, it's only effective on mice. I'm well aware of that, yes. But I'm confident it will work on humans, too. No. I'm afraid you're mistaken. What's this now? We just had a fantastic conference. This is no time for doom and gloom. Just sit back and try to relax. You deserve it. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, Ichinose was thrilled with what he saw. One day we're almost getting shut down, the next we have a massive budget. And if you can make consistent progress, AD-9 will head to clinical... At this stage, I'm afraid clinical trials would be inadvisable. If we try, all the test subjects will die. Are you sure? How can you say that with such confidence, huh? Shinpei Okubo was actually innocent. What? Innocent? Why are you bringing this up now? The court ruled correctly. Waku-san, his murder didn't play out like you think it did. The real cause of death was none other than 89. What do you mean? That murder was... It was a secret clinical trial for 89. I gave him the injection personally. <gasps> you did what?! Please, I... I had to take this opportunity. The whole world is waiting for this cure. But when I injected him, he let out the most horrible scream. These hands covered his mouth. I tried to make him shut up. Which means you... You're a murderer. <laughs> How could you be such a damn fool? What are we going to do? Shono, I just spent the entire afternoon talking up your drug to the press! With my goddamn name on the research! If you hadn't held that press conference, the ADDC would have been done for and you- Why didn't you tell me this before? I needed you, Dr. Kido. I couldn't let the center get shut down. The AD-9 project would have been terminated. But you know... This has been my entire life's work, ensuring that AD-9 would save the world. <sighs> this whole thing is preposterous. I'm going to the press! There's no need for that. Huh? Don't you understand, Director? As long as we finish AD-9's development, there won't be any issues. Your name will go down in history as the man who saved the world. Not to mention the money. But if you really insist on revealing the truth, both of our careers would go down the drain. And you have more to lose, Director. Shono, you're mad.
Is that all Shono told you? There's got to be more. <laughs> Wakusan wasn't the only person Shono killed, was he? No. He needed Shinpei Okubo to take the fall. And murdered Emi Terasawa to accomplish that. So you did know! Hey! <laughs> Fuck that! Save it, Sugira. We're not done yet. What happened next, after Shono killed Emi? Don't you already know? You had Hashki murdered. I didn't! It wasn't me! Hashki was digging around, trying to find something wrong with 89. You and Shono didn't like that too much. But you needed some help to take care of him. Someone else who wanted to protect 89. That person was... Kuroiwa, from the Kamurocho police. What? No, I, I didn't know him at the time. Exactly. In that case, it was... Ichinose, from the Ministry of Health. <gasps> the guy who founded the ADDC made it a place all the old guard ministry execs could retire to. Yes. Shono and I went to Ichinose-san and pleaded with him to help us. After all, he's known for being well-versed in political matters, both above board and otherwise. So, we told him everything. About Waku-san dying in the experiment, about Emi Terasawa. Every last detail. Without hesitation, Ichinose-san agreed to help us with the cover-up. According to him, protecting AD-9 was top priority. Hence why he decided to silence Ashki. Ichinose-san knew he was Kajihira's spy from the start, and acted accordingly. Meaning he's the one who first dragged Hamura and Kuroiwa into this bullshit. Real barrel of fucking monkeys. With Hashki out of the way, all that was left for us to do was complete 89. But we realized something. If we entered clinical trials and another patient died, our dream too would be dead. The ADDC would be no more. And all our sacrifices would have been for nothing. Your sacrifices? How can you say that with a straight face? You're not the ones who died for some bullshit drug! <laughs> Go on. Through all my hesitation, Shono kept pushing. Aggressive to a damn fault. He said we couldn't be afraid of failure if we really wanted to finish 89 that we needed to keep experimenting until we succeeded. He also said the only way to speed up development was to keep conducting clinical trials in secret. Shona was adamant about that. Why? Think about it. If we could hide the fact that our subjects were dying, we could continue experimenting despite the risks. In order to do so, we needed a way to quickly procure and discard test subjects. With that, it would only be a matter of time until AD-9 was complete. And those test subjects were the Kyori clan men. Ichinose-san listened to every single one of Shono's requests. My only role in all of this was obtaining the funds required. So, money flowed into the ADDC from the Ministry of Health. Money which I gave to Shono, 
allowing him to build a secret lab in Kamarucho. A uh, what? It's where he carries out all of his human experiments. Huh? Where exactly is this lab? I'm not sure of the specific location. I try not to come between Shono and Ichinose-san unless absolutely necessary. So that lab is where all the killings happen, where those Kyori guys were slaughtered. If anywhere's gonna have evidence, it's there. You sure you don't know where it is? Detective Kuroyo, I would, of course. He's not as talkative as you, though. In that case... There was another person involved in setting up the lab. Who? A subordinate of Ichinose-san. I believe his name was Ishimatsu. I've heard that name before. He was the middleman between Hamura and Shono. Where's this Ishimatsu guy? In Kamorocha, there's a Ministry of Health office up in the Millennium Tower. Apparently, he'll be in tonight. Wait, the Millennium Tower? That's where they oversee Shono's secret lab. Nobody knows the office is there. The sign out front even has a different name. They really got a place like that? Well, Ishimatsu knows where the lab is, yeah? This'll be easy. <laughs> Just gotta strip him down and force him to talk. Hold up. I've got a better idea. Hmm? First, we give this Ichimatsu guy some kind of reason to go to the lab. Then we just follow him from the Millennium Tower. Not bad. Ishimatsu himself will lead us straight there. But how are we gonna get him to go? Well, we'll, uh... We'll get our buddy Kido here to give him a call. Huh? Say something about how we're closing in on the lab. Tell him you need him over there to stand guard. You know, that might just work. And what? You think I'll just agree to this? You better. If you don't want to spread your little video, that is. <sighs> that settles it then. What does Ishimatsu look like? Uh, he's in his 50s. Always wears a gray suit. A sh short man. Not that much over five feet. Ah, and he always wears gloves. That can be any regular-ass old dude in this town. Anything else? There may be photos of him on the internet. You're seriously telling us to just search him? Yes. Er, well, not exactly. Try looking up Vice Minister Ichinose. Ishimatsu might have ended up in a photo of his at some point. Hmm, gotcha. Could take a while, but I should be able to find something. Kaito, Higashi. Mind hanging back here with Kido? Sure. What about me, then? You get to tail Ishimatsu with me. You're good at that kind of stuff, right? Guess so, yeah. Well, let's head to the Millennium Tower. Be safe, you two. I'll send you a shot of Ishimatsu once I've got one. Great. Let's move out. Let's go, Yagami-san.